Now, keep in mind that these are super early alpha talents, okay? They're, all of them are gonna change. They're 100% gonna change pretty much across the board. We're gonna get new ones, where a lot of them are gonna go away. So, we don't really care. We're not gonna get too excited about anything. Not even by the fact that we have Psychic Scorer back! We're gonna chill, we're gonna calm down. And even though a lot of the talents and everything's gonna change by the time BFA even hits playable alpha, uh, we're just gonna take a look at them. So not only do we have new talents and all that, but we also have a lot of changes to the spells themselves. And the most interesting one for me is uh, Void Eruption. Now, void Eruption and Void Form work a little differently. Void Form got overall nerfed and Void Eruption no longer deals the AOE damage though. The things in the air, they're, they're gone. So now, right now, Void Eruption says, release an explosive blast of pure void energy, blah, 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 activating void form and causing spell damage to all enemy enemies within 10 yards of your target. So you no longer need dots on the target to do damage. And this is kind of awkward because um, Void Eruption is now a, well, it doesn't say here, but it was an MMO champion. Void Eruption is a 40 yard range ability. And it used to be like a like a toggle kind of on and off thing, and I, I think what it means is you can line of sight void eruption basically, and that, that kind of sucks. So void eruption is basically just another spell you use at a target. That's it, and then it also puts you in void form. Uh, now it is a shorter cooldown, a shorter cast. It's a two second down from two point five, and we also have a new legacy of the void, which decreases the the cast time, which is pretty nice. Uh, but that's the thing with Void Eruption, it's no longer an AoE like it used to be, it's more like a... It is still AoE, but, I mean, you can read. And uh, then Void Form got nerfed a lot, it's now only 10% spell damage, down from 20%, so that's pretty big. But I feel like it will stack with Shadow Form, uh, because Shadow Form is still... Where, where is it? Shadow Form, it says, increase damage dealt by 10% and then reducing physical damage taken by 10% as well. And then Void Form is increasing damage dealt by 10% as well. So either Void Form replaces Shadow Form, and then it's not even a big deal, you just have Void Bolt, or uh, Void Form stacks with Shadow Form, and then you have, like you do now, like, well, it's a bit more, it's like 21% damage, and you also get the reduced physical damage. So one of those two, it's either really good or it's really bad. So that's that's it with the void form. That's the the big changes to void form. Oh, and you get 0.5 haste, 0.5 percent haste every one second, down from one percent. So void form is not gonna be a that big of a deal anymore. I feel like maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but um, the way I see it, void form is just a. I don't know. I actually like the idea. Like I, I like to not be tied to void form all the time in arena, because you know how it is. It gets shut down like crazy. Uh, but let's take a look at the talents. So Fortress of the Mind stays the same, it's boring. Shadowy Insight is a little changed, the wording is a little changed. It, it's no longer 10% per per tick. It says approximately 3 procs per minute, which means it might have an internal cooldown, which means multi-dotting people might not be as good as before for Shadowy Insight, for fishing Shadowy Insights. So I, I still think it's better than Shadow World Void. Although Shadow World Void might be the best for PvE, because it's now at 9 second recharge and it has 2 charges, so you can Mind Blast, Shadow World Void, Mind Blast, Shadow World Void, Mind Flay, Shadow World Void. You can Shadow World Void a lot more if you can free cast. So I think Shadow Insight for PvP is going to be the best. Then Mania is pretty much the same, it just, the text is different but it's the same. Body and Soul is the same, and I think Body and Soul is going to be the, the best one. And then Sand Lane is completely different, it's now reduced the cooldown of Vampiric Embrace by 45 seconds and Vampiric Embrace is gonna be two minutes down for three minutes down from three minutes so i don't know i mean sand lane looks pretty pretty decent and also increases its healing down by 25 percent so you're gonna have a vampiric embrace that heals for 50 percent of all your single target damage every one minute and 25 seconds i think yeah no 15 seconds 15 seconds one minute and 15 seconds you will have a pretty nice vampiric embrace so it might be better for some comps, I'm not sure, it, it's not bad, uh, but probably Body and Soul is still the best overall. Now, Misery is the same, Shadow of Death is a talent, RIP, it's obviously probably gonna be the most picked one, plus it does quite a lot of damage, it's 220... By the way, I, not, I wanna say it again, I'm talking about numbers and all that, all of these talents are gonna change, nothing's gonna stay the same, okay? I'm just... 
content, right? Just just content. Uh, so yeah, I, I go for Shadow or Death. Misery is pretty nice and convenient, but Shadow or Death is too too juicy. And then uh, Dark Void, pretty interesting for BGs. The first time I read this, I felt like it was garbage, uh, but then I realized what I just said before with Void Eruption being changed. So if you have a lot of targets bunched up together and you press Void Eruption, you're just going to put Shadow or Pain on all of them. And that means a lot of spirits. That means that means the ghost, the ghost spec might be back. And um, I feel like it's gonna be good for Mythic Plus, but that's about it. I don't think it's gonna be that good for PvP. So I'd stay Shadow over Death. And then we have ooh yes! Oh, I love this tier. This tier is so juicy. So we have a baseline one minute cooldown fear. Ah, it's fine. Uh, if you wanna make that a thirty second cooldown, you go Mind Bomb. Mind Bomb is now no longer stun. It's a fear. So it's just like Mind Bomb, but it fears for uh, for five seconds. I feel like Mind Bomb is the weakest by far. Not only it's dispellable before it, it goes off, uh, but and it's a fear, and it's a shorter duration fear, but it also replaces Psychic Scream. So nah, last word or Psychic Horror, but <laughs> come on, we're gonna go Psychic Horror for sure. I really hope Shaggy Horror is not gonna go away before we get to at least try it in the beta. Uh, I'd be very happy to, to have Psychic Horror back, but the way it is now, I'll be honest, the way it is now, uh, it, uh, again, things are gonna change, but if it stays like this, Shadow Priests are gonna be really good in terms of CC. I mean, you have a 45 second cooldown stun, a silence, and a one minute cooldown fear. That's, I think that's the most CC, like, you know, split on different DRs than any other class in the game. Plus you have mind control. So you can literally stun someone, silence the other one, fear the other guy, and then mind control a pet. Uh, you can't mind control pets, but you know what I mean. So, or you can just do all of them on one person. The, the CC chain is crazy. Shadow Priests are gonna be very viable if they have a stun, a fear, and a silence, almost baseline. It's insane. Now, yeah, so that, that's, that's probably, good. let's be honest, that, that's gonna change. We're not gonna have a silence, a stun, a fear, and a mind control on one class. I don't think so. I would like to, but maybe not. Maybe we won't. It, Psychic Horror might be a replacement for... Uh, it might say uh, it replaces Psychic Scream. That, that That's the compromise I'm willing to see here. I'd like to have it like this, but I don't think we will. So, uh, next we have Auspicious Spirits. Been nerfed. It's now two inside. Doesn't matter. Twist of Fate and Shadow Crush. I like Shadow Crush. I'm a fan of it, but a Twist of Fate is way too good. Even though it got nerfed, it's now 15%, no longer 20%, but still, come on, it's Twist of Fate, it's broken. <laughs> it's so much damage. And then we have Lingering Insanity. Lingering Insanity is now 1% every second, it goes down 1%, but remember, uh, remember Void Form increases by 0.5% every second, so overall it's kind of the same. It makes Lingering Insanity, I guess, a little better, but come on, Power Infusion, obviously. And then Mindbender is, uh, been, has been nerfed as well. Oh yeah, Shadow Fiend actually. So Mindbender right now on live uh, generates 8 insanity per second, per hit. On this website, on this BFA thing, generates 6. And that's a little lower. But also Shadow Fiend, the base Shadow Fiend, generates 3 insanity. <clears throat> Look at that, generates 3 insanity each time the Shadow Fiend attacks. So yeah, Shadow Fiend, not only the insanity part doesn't really matter that much, I feel like. Uh, but Power Infusion is just so much damage, man. Um, uh, like, <laughs> as I was saying, the insanity doesn't matter that much, but Shadow Fiend itself does more damage than Mindbender. Although, hmm, maybe not anymore, because Shadow Fiend stays up for 15 seconds, and so does Mindbender. Right now, Shadow Fiend stays up for a lot longer than Mindbender. And it hits harder, so I don't know, it's just theory crafting. We'll see, but Party Infusion looks amazing. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The final tier. Final frontier. Void Torrent. I don't care. I, don't, I never want to use that talent. I don't like it. Legacy of the Void. Uh, it's really good, but it's kind of boring. I mean, it's just very convenient to have it, and it's probably going to end up being the best if things stay the way they are now, which they won't, by the way. But then, we go, the one, the only, surrender to memes, four minute cooldown usable in PDP, and it doesn't kill you, fuck yeah, <laughs> surrender to memes, I am super happy to have it, I'm super happy it doesn't go away, 
and I'm even happier that it's actually usable and not complete garbage and trash. Remember when I made my PvP Surrender to Madness video? Jesus Christ, it was so annoying. 10 minute cooldown, oh, terrible, terrible. A 4 minute cooldown, it's very, like, Surrender to Madness as an ability is very strong. Uh, it needs to have a long cooldown. 4 minute cooldown is probably balanced-ish, but it's not fun to me. I press it once and then 4 minutes, you only get one per arena. So it's not fun, but it's, I don't know, maybe make it weaker and make it a 3 minute cooldown. I'm just saying shit, alright? They're gonna change it anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, but it says all your insanity generation abilities generate 100% more, and you can cast while moving. Now, it doesn't matter, it's just one minute, that's it. You have you press it and you have it for one minute. It doesn't matter if you go in void form, out of void form, you don't die. And when the minute expires, you take a ton of damage, 90% of your HP, and it cannot generate insanity for 30 seconds. Now, the the part when you, where you cannot generate insanity, that sounds really bad for PvE, uh, but for... Um, it's not even that bad, actually, for PvE, now that I think about it. You can use it in smart situations where you won't be able to do that much damage anyway. Maybe it's like an intermission or something, and you want to pump... It, I don't know, I'm not really sure about PvE. It depends how fights are designed as well. Uh, but this can be very viable for PvE. Now, for PvP, uh, for BGs, I don't think it's that good. Um, actually, what am I saying? I'm not sure. I, <laughs> it's so hard to tell. No, it's good for PvE. It's good for BGs. It's really good for BGs. One minute, you have plenty of time to finish a team fight. If you have three, imagine three Shadow Priests with Surrender to Madness. One minute of 12 million DPS. Jesus Christ! Okay, the Surrender to Madness is insane. Uh, and in Arena... Mm, mm, maybe. It's not... Uh, it's kind of it's kind of meme. But it's not bad. I don't I don't think it's that bad. If you play some sim something like setup-oriented... Or I'm not really worried about 90% of your total HP. I don't. I don't think that's a really big problem. Mm, like you can. You can just sack that. A paladin can sack it. You can disperse it. You can just. You know. Th there's. There's ways around it. Uh, obviously, in arena, it's kind of awkward, especially if Team C press that. They're just gonna kind of kill you when uh, when it pops. They, they just need to press one button and kill you from 10%. Uh, but if you save a dispersion or some cooldown or you know you play smart. There's ways around it. It's it's very meme, it's very gimmicky, but it's fun. I, I really like it. I really hope Serenity to Madness uh, stays in the game as a, as a gimmick and fun ability. But um, I don't know, they might take it out. We'll see. Anyway, these are the talents. Uh, now, other things have changed. Uh, I have a little list here. Uh, a big one, actually, is Dispel Magic and Mass Dispel. Now, right now, Dispel Magic, you can purge. You can purge. Purge. It's a purge. The Priest Purge is called Dispel Magic. And uh, right now it has no cooldown and it costs some mana, so you can spam it a little bit, then you go oom. Uh, now on the, on in BFA it looks like it's gonna have a 6 second cooldown. And it's gonna cost 4% of base mana for Shadow Priest, which means you'll be able to kind of spam it. I'm not sure, but we'll spam it in terms of mana. But uh, it's a 6 second cooldown, so you're not gonna be able to spam it that much. And since trash buffs are back in the game, that's pretty interesting, I like that. I think... I'm not sure if it. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of it or not. It's kind of the same as, uh, as the old, like defensive dispel that healers got. You know, back in the day, you can, you could just uh, defensive, defensive, yeah, dispel magic like a defensive dispel. Uh, you you could just, like purify. You know, you could just spam that, but you would go oom, um, uh, and then they made it have an eight an eight second cooldown, and everybody hated that. And I don't know. Eventually, people got. Oh, the, you know, got used to it, so now it's okay. Uh, so dispel magic having a cooldown is a little awkward when I first read it. Like if I wanna, if I wanna out outplay someone and dispel a nature swiftness or something, it's RNG based, so I don't like that. But whatever, I, I don't really care. Now mass dispel is a is kind of annoying. Mass dispel is a 45 second cooldown down from up from 15, which is right now. And again, you know, it's it's not even alpha. A lot of things are gonna change, but if they stay like this. Just thought you might, you guys want to, might, might want to know. Uh, a few other things we have life grip back. Life grip. I'm super happy about this as a shadow priest, and they they said you'll have it as a shadow, as a shadow priest because it used to be this can holy and now it also says plus shadow. So super awesome. I love having leap of faith. I'll be very actually I missed this ability quite a lot. 
Uh, no special guys yet, but you know, that might be in PvP talents, we don't have PvP talents yet. And even if we did, it's, uh, it's, it's early, so it, things will change. Another thing, Mindseer is gone. Well, this is a new Mindseer. The old, the passive Mindseer is gone, so we basically get the old Mindseer back, which is that. The old Mindseer, woo! Got it. Awesome. Other than that, what kind of changes we have? We have shoot back, because we might be able to equip ones. And here it says we have smite and flash heal as well. I don't know, this might just be a... Like a... An error or so. I don't think they're gonna add smite and flash heal for Shadow Priest. I would like to, because flash heal in terms of percentages heals less than... Um, what's it called? Than Shadow Mend, but you, don't, you no longer have the, the drawback thing. And then smite is just whatever, something in, you know... But right there it says this can hold these, I don't know, whatever, we might have it, I don't think so though. And that's, that's, that's it, I think. I don't know if we have anything else changed. Uh, this is a, what I, you know, this is probably what I would play right now if the game would be coming out right now. Uh, but there's a lot of really cool things you can do. Like if you can free cast a lot, you can go Shadow World Void and you can go freaking, uh, let's, let's say Sand Lane, so you're super effective, super efficient with your, um, with your heals, let's say in a BG maybe. If you play a BG, you might want to play Dark Void so you can spread those ghosts everywhere. And talking about ghosts, you might want to go Auspicious Spirits uh, because you have a lot of ghosts with Dark Void or maybe Shadow Crash. Or maybe, ah, so many, so many possibilities. If you duel, you can play Last Word, you can play Psychic Horror. Man, this talent here, this tier, the level 61, it makes me so happy for, for dueling. I'm, I'm pretty hyped. Uh, and yeah, I cannot wait for a beta, alpha, anything to uh, get a chance to see what, what they come up with. Uh, again, a lot of things are going to change. Obviously, 100%, a lot of them are going to change. So numbers don't matter. Abilities don't really matter. I, I feel like Fortress of the Mind is going to go away. I feel like Shadow World Void is gonna, probably going to go away or be changed a lot. Uh, I don't know about these three. These might stay. Dark Void, it might go. I don't think it's going to stay. Or it might, but I don't know. Uh, misery might go away. Please, please don't go away. <laughs> Mind Bomb might get. Uh, Mind Bomb is kind of weird. I think it would make more sense if Mind Bomb didn't replace Fear and Psychic Horror did. I think that would be more balanced. Because then you, uh, but then you can Fear into a Mind Bomb. But it's DR, so it's okay. And plus you have Mind Control, which is same DR. It's a little awkward, but I'm not sure. And then like uh, Auspicious Spirits, I not a fan of these even in pve they're they're rng and plus we lose the 75 percent ghost chance from vts so they're not gonna be that good anyway anyway i don't want to ramble too much i already have for quite a while um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh hey can't wait for bfa talk to you guys later peace bye bye